I'm gonna go to the elementary schools that are near me, drop off those folders that I made yesterday. Hold on. I need my flip flops. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> False alarm. Mulligan. I literally almost walked out there. <laughs> Let's go. I'm still waking up. Now we slide this thing in. Oh my god! Do you ever have those days where you feel like you have so much to do and you want to just sit there and do none of it because it's so overwhelming? Luna, out. Good afternoon, YouTube. Those of you who are always telling me that I need to get more sleep, you should be really proud of me because I think the past two days this weekend, I slept more those two days than I have like the entire summer combined. Literally all I did was sleep and eat. Like on Saturday, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I slept in, I got up, I ate, I took a nap, and then I got up again, I ate, and I went to sleep. Like literally I did nothing but sleep and eat, but I needed that time just to kind of recharge and relax after all the hectic weeks I've had. I am now sitting down to film finally. I am gonna show you guys what my setup looks like because I have upgraded a little bit in my equipment and I'm pretty excited about it. So I now have so much lighting it's kind of ridiculous. I got these like softbox lights off of Amazon and then this is a diva light ring. So I'm hoping this will help. I have like closed all my blinds in the background because you guys will notice a lot of times in my sit down videos the sun like changes so much and that's because I was mostly using just daylight. I was using my light ring but it didn't really help with that. So now I have all of this lighting and I'm hoping it will just make my videos look a little little bit more professional and a little bit better. Welcome back to my channel. Now this video is a little bit different because this video is all about you. With all of your help, I was able to hit 50,000 subscribers this past week. done filming and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna go downstairs and get a snack because I don't want to spoil my dinner because Billy and I are actually going to my friend Jane's house tonight for dinner she lives in this like cabin out in the woods and I haven't seen her place yet so we're gonna go over there tonight but you guys are gonna be so proud of me wait wait for it I went grocery shopping it happened, I went grocery shopping. I didn't get a lot because I haven't had time to sit and like plan out meals, but I did at least get some stuff so that I'm not eating all of my meals out. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, we will start in the fridge, which you guys are probably looking at this going, oh my gosh, she has no food. But compared to what we had, this is like amazing. I will start here on the door. So I got this coffee creamer. Now Billy and I have not set up our coffee maker yet, but this is my all time favorite creamer. It's the Hershey's Chocolate Caramel by International Delight and it's Amazing. Then I got ketchup because we threw away all of our condiments when we moved because a lot of them were really old. So I always get the reduced sugar ketchup. To me, it tastes basically the same. And this one has only one gram of sugar when regular like Heinz tomato ketchup has, I think it's like five grams. And not that that's a lot, but it does add up over time. And I personally don't like to waste that with like condiments. So I get the reduced sugar ketchup. Then I got just some like preserves. This is strawberry preserves. I get the sugar free. I I personally just don't notice a huge difference and again it's just an easy way to save on the sugar now this is Billy's milk he got this while I was gone I think for like protein shakes it's just like 2% milk I am not really particular with my milk I can drink pretty much any kind of milk so I got fat free milk at the grocery store I can drink fat free I can drink 1% I can drink 2% I can drink almond milk I can drink pretty much everything so I usually just go with whatever is cheapest now the grapes have actually been in here for like over a week I did get those because I like to have grapes to snack on 
And then this is, I think, Billy's diet ginger ale that he didn't finish. Okay, then we have a bunch of juices. Billy loves juice. So he has some like twister back here. And then this is like Wegmans, like organic cranberry cherry juice. And then this is Dole orange peach mango juice. Billy just drinks juice all the time. Then I did get some strawberries and actually I was really surprised. So the grocery store we go to around here is called Wegmans, which we do not have where we lived before. And so far we are absolutely loving it. This huge like family pack of strawberries was only $3.99. So I was so happy about that. I'm gonna cut those up later so that they are ready to go. Then I got some Greek yogurts. Now I'm really particular with my Greek yogurt because a lot of them, like the texture just kind of grosses me out and I can't really do it. But I really like these Dan and Light and Fit. And I saw these crunch ones. So this one is caramel fudge pretzel. So it has these little pieces up here. Now, a lot of yogurts, unless you get just plain Greek yogurt, and if you do, it tastes horrible. They are really high in carbs. And this one with the toppings and the yogurt, they were about the same as all the other ones. So I figured if I'm going to get them, I'd rather have like the little crunchy pieces. And then this one is, what is it? Coconut chocolate bliss. Now for sodas, I do drink diet soda. I know there's gonna be people who tell me it's horrible for me. I know, trust me. I don't drink it for a health standpoint. I drink it because I actually prefer the taste to regular soda. Regular soda is just too sweet for me. I think there could be a lot worse things that I put into my body than diet soda. And I just like to have things other than water to drink. Personally, I really like diet Coke. Um, and I also really like diet ginger ale. For me, that's just one of the ones that like I think tastes best. And then I got some of these Laughing Cow Creamy Swiss Light Little Wedges. I love these things. I like to put them on Triscuits and crackers and pretty much everything. I highly recommend those. Now we'll come into the pantry. Now some of this are things that we brought with us. So I'm only gonna go through the like new things that we got. We did go ahead and grab some soups because these are just easy things to like grab for dinner or Billy likes to eat at like midnight when he gets hungry. So this way we just have some options with that. So I got an Italian wedding soup, chunky sirloin burger, chunky chicken noodle soup, and then chunky New England style clam chowder. And then down here, we just got this like shredded wheat. Yes, it is frosted. I cannot eat it if it is not frosted. I know. It's not the healthiest, I don't care. Then I got Triscuits. I love Triscuits, Billy hates them, and that's part of the reason I get them, because I know Billy won't eat them. I really like to put that Laughing Cow cheese on top of these. And then I got these little popcorn. Now I get mine in the single serve bags because Billy does not like popcorn and he will not eat it. So I just get the little single serve ones and they're like 100 calories and it's just good for a nice easy snack. Then I also got rice cakes. I love rice cakes, I always get the Quaker brand. Now these ones are like the salt-free plain ones, which I. I do not recommend it kind of tastes like cardboard however I really like chocolate and they did not have chocolate so I got this kind instead I really like to put peanut butter on mine which I'll show you I love like nuts and more birthday cake um, this is like a vanilla peanut butter that's high in protein, nuts and more white chocolate, cookie butter, which is like deadly, <laughs> and then just regular peanut butter. So I really like to put peanut butter on mine and then I'll put some of those sugar-free strawberry preserves. And then we also got some bananas. This is a nice easy way to get some carbs before a workout. We like bananas when they're green. I do not like bananas when they're all ripe and they like start to get brown spots. I can't do it. I really like them when they still have some green on them. So I'm sitting here waiting on the video clips that I just recorded to import to my computer. I I am just so in love with this space in my studio. I can't get over it and I cannot wait to show you guys in my townhouse tour. I promise that will be coming. We still have some furniture to get, but I am just so in love with this space. Come in. Hi. So just so you guys know, Billy usually gets kicked out while I'm filming. What'd you go do? I played racquetball with the basketball. By yourself? Uh, basketball was with other people. Racquetball was with us. Oh. <laughs> Do you have fun? I look like... Oh. I what? look like um, Brad. No, you don't. Okay, ladies, please tell me I'm not the only one. You will spend like two hours getting ready and your significant other will complain about it. And then you're ready and you go to leave and suddenly your significant other goes, oh, let me just brush my teeth. Or, oh, let me just put on my shoes. You had two hours to put on your shoes when I was getting ready. And here we are. And because I know someone will comment on it, no, it does not take me two hours to get ready. I was exaggerating. Let's go have a... No. 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 Back up. Back up. We are now headed to my friend's house for dinner. Billy <laughs> is still in the back seat. This is so bad, you guys. Because of my trip last week, it kind of snuck up on me. I never took that bookcase into our apartment, so Billy still cannot sit in the front seat. Okay, when 
when she said she lived in a cabin in the woods, she literally was not kidding. Hi! Hello. <laughs> so you weren't kidding. It is a cabin in the woods. <laughs> Gosh, listen to all the bugs. <laughs> so you're gonna need to back up and then. Hey, do you guys see this? Like, I am in the middle of nowhere right now. Billy and I are now home from my friend Jane's house. It's about 9 30, and I have a lot of work to get done. First of all, I have to finish editing the video that I filmed earlier today and get it uploaded for you guys tomorrow. And then I need to answer emails because I'm so backed up right now for my trip. It's not even funny. So I'm just gonna have a nice chill night in bed, get some work done, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Whenever your heart is broken. waking up. Bye, kiddies. Good morning, afternoon, YouTube. Billy and I are going to grab a bite to eat really quickly, and then I'm gonna spend essentially the rest of the day in our townhouse. I need to be productive today, more so than I have been since I got home from California. First of all, we need to get that Ikea bookshelf out of my car, because it's driving me nuts. Second of all, I'm gonna work on updating my portfolio and putting together some folders that have my resume, cover letter, and some pages from my portfolio, so that tomorrow I can get up early and go and deliver them to the schools that are around me so that I can hopefully get a job. And he says, I'm on my phone all the time. He can't even make it to the car. I am now in my basement and I'm working on printing out stuff that I'm going to take to schools tomorrow. And you guys will appreciate this. For everyone who thinks I'm like techie, I just spent like 20 minutes printing out my resume a million times with a bunch of different settings, trying to figure out how to get it borderless. But I finally figured it out. I'm gonna cover it up because I have personal information. But I finally figured out how to get it borderless. I am printing these off. I'm just printing them on cardstock. I probably should be a good person and go to the store and get like fancy fancy resume paper, but that's just not happening right now. So I'm printing it on cardstock and I'll show you guys what it looks like when they're all put together. So I've been trying to figure out how my cats keep finding rubber bands. I figured it out. They're pulling them out of the drawers down here in our desk in the basement. You guys, if anyone wants two cats, mine are up for adoption now. I'm totally kidding, by the way. Don't take me seriously on that. Okay, I have officially run into a dilemma. In the folders that I'm gonna hand out to administration at the schools that I visit tomorrow, I'm gonna have an example lesson plan. So I'm doing this crayon lesson that had to do with the states of matter for science. I have the lesson plan printed out and then I have like the recording sheets and I want to take a picture that has like the recording sheet, the postcard, and the book along with like some crayons and just make it look really pretty because I'm stupid like that and I like things like that. So here's my problem. I've printed out the recording sheet and the little postcard and I have crayons but the book that I need which is the day the crayons came home is somewhere within these piles of boxes. <laughs> so here is what I'm currently about to do. First of all, I have this table that I got from Ikea that is in my craft room and it needs to go over on that wall, which obviously cannot happen right now. So it's just sitting in the middle of this room. I need to move all of these boxes to my basement, like over here, just up against this wall. So I guess I'm gonna sit here and just move them like one by one and check through the boxes. Thankfully, I do have them labeled. Um, like I just have a piece of tape somewhere on them. Here it is. I just have a piece of tape that has like a list of what's in it. So this one said iris containers. I opened it up and checked and it was not the right one. So I'm just gonna have to move like all of these boxes and hopefully I will come across the one that has my book.
break. I'm now on my way to dinner. Billy and I are gonna try to go to trivia again. If you remember a week before last, we tried to go to trivia, but we got there a half an hour early and the parking lot was packed and there was no availability. So this time we are leaving at seven instead of 7.30. Trivia starts at eight. So fingers crossed that this time we can actually get a spot. Hey, it has your name on it. <laughs> Wait. It's, it's the Billy bookcase. Oh, but it's not actually on. Huh? Well, it says Billy on the box. You just ruined that joke up at the top. Oh, like here? Yeah. Oh, well, I can't see that. So. I know. I'm sorry, YouTube. Hi. Oh. Oh, yeah. Luna. So I need to take it, screw it up. Screw it out. Twist. And shout. <laughs> Got Robin Williams up here. <laughs> There's no kitties behind me, right? No. Nope. Alright. <laughs> Not up, gonna work. Up we go. Screw it back a little bit. Good job. <laughs> Billy and I are now home from trivia. I think it's about 10, 15, 10, 20 ish. We did not do so hot. I think we came in like fifth or sixth, but considering we were one of the only two person teams, I think we did pretty good because everyone else had like six to eight people. So we finally got the bookcase out of my car and it is now down in the basement. I probably won't have time to put it together tonight, but that's okay. I can work on that maybe tomorrow night. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take photos for that lesson plan that I showed you guys earlier because I finally found the book. and go through the folders and just show you guys what I put in them. I'm gonna take these to elementary schools that are near me tomorrow. My hope is that I will be able to give it directly to the principal at each school. However, I know that may not be the case because they could be busy or not even in the building. So if I have to leave it with the secretary, I definitely will. So these are just plastic prong folders that I got at Target. I personally went with black just because that's my preference and I do think it looks very professional, but you could go with any color that you choose. I even have seen folders that have like a pocket in the front. I would have gotten those if I had seen them. Unfortunately, my target did not have them, so I went with these just these basic ones. Then on the inside, um, you will notice post-it notes throughout. I'm just blocking personal information. The first page in here is my cover letter, and I do have it in a page protector. If you are interested, this is a template. It's part of my resume templates that are in my TPT store. I have matching ones for all the different resume options that I include. So if you're interested in this, I will link it for you down in the description box. I'm not gonna read through this all now. However, I am gonna be making an updated video that's just kind of a quick synopsis of like resume cover letters and portfolios because the old ones that I have, like those videos are kind of old at this point and I just wanna redo them. So in that video, I will give you guys like my example cover letter that I personally use. Then the next page is my actual resume. And again, these templates are in my TPT store. So if you are interested, I will link them for you down in the description box. Again, I'm just hiding some personal information. You also will notice that I printed my resume borderless. Now, ideally, I probably should have gotten these professionally printed. I just have been so busy. I honestly just kind of forgot to do it. So I printed mine at home, but I did print them borderless just so they look a little bit more professional. If you guys are interested in that, I can do a short tutorial video. It took me a while to figure out, but it was actually really, really easy. And this is also in a page protector. Now the last few pages are not in page protectors. I just didn't think it was necessary. So I included a lesson example. Now, when I got my current, well actually it's not my current job, I'm not working there anymore. When I got my old job, I actually included letters of recommendation, but I thought now that I have three years of experience, it would just be more appropriate for me to put a lesson example. So this is just an overview page. I have a picture of the lesson plan and then I have a picture of just kind of some of the materials and the recording sheets. And you'll notice some of the words, I bolded them and I put them in capital letters just to help them 
stand out. So I wrote, this science lesson is an example of inquiry-based instruction in which my students are actively participating in hands-on learning. This lesson is relevant to students and has a real-world application with the incorporation of crayons. This lesson also integrates technology through the use of an interactive PowerPoint presentation and related videos. The PowerPoint presentation, videos, hands-on experiment, and differentiated assessment accommodated multiple learning styles. And then down here it says, this lesson integrates reading and writing so multiple subject area standards are met in a single lesson. A sample lesson plan and evaluation completed by my principal are included. So the next page, um, and this, I'm sorry, if you guys are interested, this little like template here is part of my portfolio template, which is also my store. I will link that for you guys as well. So here I actually have written out the lesson plan and I have it in the 5E style. This is my formal lesson plan templates. Those are also in my TPT store. They are editable if you guys are interested in that. Then I have my evaluation, again, hiding some personal information, but I thought this would be really good to include that way the principal could actually see how my former principal evaluated me and I included this one strategically because it was highly effective and I just thought that that would show off pretty well. So I have the first page and then these were just all of the written notes and I went ahead and included those and then the last page is just like my signature. So I'm going to be delivering these tomorrow. I'm kind of getting nervous. Like I've been out of like the interview state since my last phone interview that I had and I've kind of relaxed and I haven't been worrying about it and now I need to start worrying about it again. I need to make it a priority and now I'm getting nervous again. So I'm going to go ahead and like get to bed so I can have a good night's rest and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube. It's currently about 10 15. I'm getting ready to head out the door. I'm gonna go to the elementary schools that are near me, drop off those folders that I made yesterday. My goal was to get up at eight o'clock couldn't do it. I didn't go to sleep until after two and then I was nervous because I was overthinking everything and I didn't fall asleep until probably close to three o'clock if not later. So I slept in until 9 10 but I am ready to go ahead and head out the door. I did want to show you guys my outfit because you guys are always asking about my outfits which I'm not the best person for whatsoever but I actually think I did pretty good today so I'm gonna show you guys what I have on. First of all I have this necklace which you guys are always asking me about. It was three dollars in the Target dollar spot. Then I have on this blouse. First of all this is like my favorite color. It's kind of like a maroon, almost like a plum color. Love it. I got this at Target on clearance. It was only a couple dollars. I really like the ruffle just because it dresses it up a little, but it's not like too, too fancy. It is like a tank top, which I'm just not really a fan of tank tops. So I do have on a blazer. This came from Kohl's a long time ago. This was actually my first blazer. Kind of a funny story. This is a blazer that I wore when I got hired at my previous job. So for me, it is good luck. I always say you should dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Plus everyone feels better when they wear a blazer. So I always wear a blazer. Then I just have on white pants, although now that I look at them, they're totally like not white anymore and I need to get new ones, but oh well, they will do for now. And then I have these shoes, which came from J. Crew, and I am wearing these because they match my shirt color. Okay, I'm at the first school, which is literally right down the road from where I'm living, and I'm so nervous, and I don't know why I'm nervous. It's totally not a big deal. I'm just dropping off a folder, but here I am. I'm sitting here just like freaking out. I don't know. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna drop it off, and I'll catch up with you guys when I get to the next school. Okay, now I'm at school number two. I actually feel a lot better when I went in. The principal wasn't available, but I gave it to the principal secretary and she actually looked through it. And when she saw my resume, she was like, oh, this looks really nice. So I feel better. <laughs> I'm not at the second school. I am about to head in and then I'll catch up with you guys at the next one. So again, I just had to give it to the secretary at that school, but it's okay. I'm now at school number three. This one was a little bit farther from me. Instead of like five minutes down the road, it's like 15 minutes down the road, which is not bad at all, but there are really dark clouds outside. And I think it's supposed to start raining, so I need to hurry up. Okay, that secretary seemed really confused that I was dropping off a resume. And she asked me what position I was applying for, and I'm like, any literally just any just give me a job but she said the only positions they were really hiring for was special education so I don't think that one's gonna work out that's okay I went ahead and left the folder now I am at school number four okay that one went really well I wasn't able to meet with the principal but I did get to sit down with the vice principal and I got to talk to her and she was so nice and she said they're possibly gonna have three openings they have three teachers that are interviewing elsewhere so she's just kind of waiting to hear back from HR whether or not they are leaving but she definitely said if they do one of them is third grade and she will definitely consider me and give me a buzz so fingers crossed for that one I am now at the fifth and final school for today so I'll catch up with you guys after 
fifth and final school is done. I got a combo deal on that one. I actually got to meet with the principal and the vice principal. They don't have any openings right now, but they said if any do open up, they will definitely contact me and they seemed really impressed by my folder, which is great. Now I'm headed to get some coffee because I definitely need it after getting up early or at least what's early for me. Then I'm gonna head back home and I have to get some filming done today. Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee with the French vanilla swirl and cream? And can I get a medium hot vanilla macchiato? So that was a medium iced coffee, French vanilla and cream only, and a medium macchiato with French vanilla? Yes. All right, you're told 602, drive around please. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this is the weirdest Dunkin' Donuts drive through I've ever seen. I had to literally drive like behind the entire strip center to get to the drive through What on earth? How sad is this? I have two GPS, how to get home because I have no idea where I am right now. I am now at home. When I got home, I got back into bed because it was really, really comfortable. I sat and enjoyed my coffee and I sent thank you emails to the principals and vice principals that I did get to meet with just to make a good first impression. Now I'm getting ready to film. Billy is in here. He usually goes to the gym while I'm filming. So I'm gonna have him sit here so I can get the focus and everything set up and then I will catch up with you guys after. filming and I'm taking a break because I'm starving. It's 3.30 and I have not eaten today. All I have in my system is coffee. So Billy got home from the gym and showered. We are now headed to grab a bite to eat. And then my one goal for the rest of today, besides editing, is to get my Ikea bookshelf together. Is there and Marshall Flock? Hashtag YouTube life. I got home from Firehouse Hobbs and I've literally just been sitting in bed editing for the past like two hours. So I don't really have anything to update you guys on. Okay, I'm vlogging with my phone again. We are home goods and Applebee's bound. I have been sitting on my butt for the past several hours just editing and I did not even get that much done, which is really frustrating. I don't know why, but my computer was being so slow and I really need to go through and clean it out, but I don't have time for that right now. So I'm still not even done editing and there's probably no way I'm gonna get my bookshelf put together tonight. Try some breath. Jobs, let's go. <laughs> Was that mean to the kitty? Or um, do you think she loved it? Someone's probably gonna yell at you in the comments. Come here, Jobs. <laughs> and if not for that, for calling our cat Jobs. Ready? No. Oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Wait, hold on, Baltimore. Is it still up there? Well, I don't see it anymore. Oh, it's on the ground. Oh my god. Get it. Get it. Maybe Luna like injured it. <laughs> uh, free pest control. I've been in my bed editing this video for the past few hours because again, my computer has been so slow tonight, I have no idea why, but it is now 1.23 in the morning. It is uploading to YouTube and I'm actually timing it because at home in our old apartment, it would have taken, this is a half an hour long video, it would have taken it like a good three hours to upload. And look, it's only been uploading for not even a minute and a half and it's already at 39%. So I'm gonna sit here and time it, see how long it takes, and then I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Would you like to do the honors? Luna. 
Good morning slash afternoon YouTube. I think today is just gonna be a lazy day at home. First of all, I did not get my Ikea bookshelf put together yesterday, so I do wanna get that done today. I also have work that I have to do for a campaign that I'm doing coming up. I can't really tell you guys about it just yet, but I'm so excited, but I've got work to do. So I'm gonna just be working on my computer for the next little bit, and then maybe I can convince Billy to help me put together the bookshelf. Ready? So I have been sitting on my butt for the past several hours. That's kind of the bad thing about what I do for work, especially in the summer when I'm not teaching. I'm sitting on my butt or I'm filming and I'm inside all day. So Billy and I are going to go, I think we're gonna go to Noodles and Company, which is like 20 minutes from where we live, but it's one of our favorite places. We're gonna grab dinner and then think there's some shops around there. We're just gonna kind of walk around. Like I definitely need to get out and get some exercise. You're gonna have to just ignore my hair. I don't know what to call it other than lazy because I didn't feel like drying it. YouTube. You will probably notice that I did not vlog very much yesterday. First of all, that's because I didn't really do much yesterday. It was just a weird day and I don't know how to describe it, but hopefully you guys know what I mean. Do you ever have those days where you feel like you have so much to do and you want to just sit there and do none of it because it's so overwhelming? That was me yesterday. I got some work done that like I had to get done, but the rest of it, like I just sat there and thought about all the things I had to get done. And I chose to sit there and do none of it. And like, no matter how hard I tried, I just could not be productive. And I kind of feel guilty about it. Like I can't lie, I definitely feel bad. And I know I should have gotten a lot more done yesterday than I did. But at the same time, I think everyone just like deserves those days every once in a while. And I'm human and it's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna try to fix it today. Billy and I are gonna go finally put together the Ikea bookshelf that we've been trying to put together all week and just hasn't happened so we're gonna do it now rather than like saving it for the end of the day when my productivity just like plummets I will catch back up with you guys after hopefully the bookshelf is completed Here, let what me are zoom you, in. A parrot? Just gonna repeat it. Look. Michelle, I'm not looking. It's fine. What do you have to say for yourself? I have to say nothing. <laughs> it has your name all over it. <laughs> really? Really, Billy? It's around six o'clock. We did get the bookshelf put together, so I feel productive. I got books put on it. We spent a little time just cleaning up. We are currently headed to the gym, and then we are going to be good people and go to the grocery store, and we're actually going to cook at home tonight, right? That's happening? Uh, cooking is in putting chicken salad on bread, but sure. Well, we're going to make sandwiches. It is raining outside. It has been raining since this morning, and it's not supposed to stop until, like, late tomorrow night. We're getting, like, five inches of rain just between today and tomorrow. It's absolutely insane. So we're going to go work out, go to the grocery store, and then I'll catch up with you guys after. Yeah. 
are home from the gym and the grocery store and it's already 9 30 so i need to end it here so i can shower eat dinner and then start editing this vlog so it can be up for you guys tomorrow morning overall this week was very off i guess is the best way to put it i just felt like i wasn't productive i felt very unmotivated which is weird because i'm not like that at all i'm usually very motivated and i'm very self-motivated like i don't need a whole lot to motivate me i'm just motivated on my own but for whatever reason this week i just have not felt that at all and you would think after getting back from the conference like I would have a lot of mo motivation and then for whatever reason when I got back I just lost it which I think is okay like I'm normal I'm a human being we go through that it's all right but I just don't like feeling like this I don't feel successful and for me that's a problem so next week is going to be operation get my life together I'm gonna try to just do a complete restart next week. Like, I feel like I need to fix my sleeping habits. I need to fix my diet. I need to get on a better exercise routine. I need to fix my productivity and I need to make actual to-do lists and I just need to like conquer life. So next week, I'll just show you guys how I'm doing all that. And next week's vlog will definitely be a little bit different than what my vlogs have been. But hopefully that's a good thing. Also, I wanted to let you guys know, you're actually gonna get like a bonus vlog next week. My video that goes up on Tuesday, rather than being a sit down video like it usually is it's actually going to be a vlog tomorrow I'm going to a Maryland TPT meetup and I'm gonna vlog it all and then I will have that up for you guys on Tuesday if you did enjoy this vlog even though it had nothing of real importance please go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and it really helps out my channel and helps it to reach more teachers don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos as always thank you for watching I love you all so much don't forget to stay positive and I'll see you guys in the next one Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to me so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites and my Teachers Pay Teacher Store are down in the description box for you, and I will catch you guys in the next one.